hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see step by step video on how you can create a bottom navigation bar in flutter so this will be a going to be a custom navigation bar bar okay so as you can see here i have a main dot file i have three di four different pages i have this is our main that is the home page also i have the about page profile page and setting page so let's start by creating a new file let's call at it as a bottom nav dot dot okay so now what we can do is we can create a stateful widget that is bottom nav okay what we can do is we can import our libraries and this is our stateful widget Okay, so what we can do is I can simply just comment this and inside main dot dot will have our stateful widget which is bottom name okay like this let's just save our app so as you can see we have nothing inside our bottom name so I can just take a scaffold and let's just save our app so as you can see here we have a scaffold which is empty so for the bottom navigation bar we'll have a type of tab so i'll declare a tab controller okay so that is a tab controller will be our tab controller okay so we'll give it a late and now what we can do is we can simply initialize it in our init state using our tab controller equal to tab controller like this and the length uh, let's say we have a length of four as we have four pages and vsync will be this okay so why this is red is we can we have to extend our class with ticker provider state mixing okay so now what we can do is we can just save our app let's hot reload our app so that our tab control gets initialized okay so now it has been initialized okay so in the scaffold for our body what we can do is we can have our tab bar view and for the children's we will be having this as a children's okay so for we'll create a list here as a list of let's say our type widget let's say my children's and we'll be having our home page then our about page then our profile page and then our setting page like this okay so i'll add the const here so our blue lines are disappear okay so now inside our children's i'll give it my children's will be here and we'll also give the controller that is our tab controller and what other properties does this have is the physics so let's just save our app first to check this out so this is our first tab as you as i scroll here i can see my about page my profile page and my setting page okay so to we don't want this scrolling so what we can do is we have a property called scroll physics or uh, let's say physics and we'll have a value of never scrollable physics okay like this I'll simply give the const now let's just save our app so now you can see when I scroll nothing is scrolling okay so now what we can do is for our bottom navigation bar we can have our bottom nav not nav we can have a bottom navigation bar okay and for the items
we'll have our tab that is this tab okay so for the tab what i can do is okay so bottom app bar let's go and take the bottom app bar let me clear this out first bottom app bar like this and for the child we can have our tab bar okay and for the tabs we can have our tab we can give it a value of icon for icon we can give it a icon icons dot home like this and what we can do is as a child we can text take a text and we'll write it as a home we can give it a style of let's say a text style let's give it a font size of let's say a 12 okay so what we can do is with tab we have a, to give our controller to which will be our tab controller and what are the properties we get with the tab bar is is required and different properties like label color and etc okay so we'll check it out first i'll simply create four tabs as we are having four different screens so this will be our first tab let's copy and paste it to another to have another tab let's say we have a profile so for the icon we can have icon of person like this okay and we can write here as profile okay so this is our second tab now for the third tab we can have a different icon for the about let's say we'll get an info and i can write a text as about and for our last tab we'll have our setting tab that is let's get an icon of setting and we'll write the text as setting as well okay so let's just save our app so as you can see here we have a little bit spacing that is we have this our tab bar so as you can see when i click on the home it will show our home page our about page profile page setting page so to change the colors what we can do is we have different properties such as let's say a label color we'll give it a label color of colors dot red let's say let's just save our app so as you can see now we have a label color for our tab for unselected label color we can give it a colors dot let's say a gray let's just save our app so as you can see our, our selected label color is home that is red and the rest remaining are gray if i click on this profile it will change to a red and as you can see here we have the about page here so i'll simply change the position of our about page and our profile page so now we have our profile page here about page here and setting page here okay so what i can do is we have different properties for let's say to change the position of our indicator so we have a property called indicator and we'll have our underline tab indicator okay i'll give it a const it has a property called insets which will decide the position so age insets dot only let's say we want to change the height okay so what we can do is we can simply wrap our bottom app bar with a widget called let's say a sized box okay a sized box 
and we'll give it a value okay what just happened i'll just simply okay sized box and we'll provide it a height of k bottom navigation bar height let's just save our app so as you can see we have changed the height of our bottom navigation bar so now what we can do is we can provide this same height for our bottom indicator now let's just save our app and what other properties do we have which is a border side border side it takes in a color we give it a colors dot red as well and for the width let's say we'll give it a width of two let's just save the app so as you can see we have our tab here as you can see we have a tab floating under our tabs so what i can do is i can simply hot reload our app so that our pages will align properly okay so now our pages are aligned properly hopefully yes profile page about page home page so what are the properties is that we can change the spacing between our icon and text so what we can do is we have a property called icon margin and we also have to give age inserts dot only a bottom of let's say a four pixels let's just save our app so as you can see the spacing between the icon and the text is decreased so i can what i can do is i can simply copy this and paste inside all of our tabs like this now let's just save our app so now here we have our custom bottom navigation bar for our flutter app so you can customize it whatever as you want if you want different properties we also have a property call on tap property here as well so inside on tap property what we can do is you can get the value of your index so for that what we can do is you can simply declare an int which is let's say a selected index of zero okay and now what we can do is inside our on tap we can write set set and that selected index will be our index so this way we will get the index of our tab so for example we can use like this let's suppose we want to change the icon so let's suppose we have our selected index equal to zero if it's true what we can do is we can have the icon of this or we can have the different icon for our home which is let's say icons dot home which is home mini let's say like this okay so i'll simply remove this const so that it will get initialized right let's just save our app so now as you can see it's already selected as a selected index which is at the zero so we are having an icon of our home but once i click on the profile as you can see the selected index is changed so the icon is also changed so like this you can change the icon or different animations that you want you can create them inside your flutter so like this as you can see our icon gets changed or replaced so this is how you can create a bottom nav bar inside the flutter hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video